kids' heads into walls and stuff and busting their heads open, and the dad held the mom at gunpoint for a while with a gun and tried to file, they tried to file charges, but he denied it, and the police won't take any charges against him, and we're just trying to get the family going back to church here again and get commanding the devil away from them, and it's all just good we're supposed to do, um, trying to do that, and you know, we're helping orphan kids. We helped some orphan kids out today through the pastors, and we're just uh, always looking for ways we can help people, like with your project reach out program, and just the way Jesus wants us to live. There's nothing better than being set free from sin and going out and helping others. So, I'm going to try to help those guys tonight, and we're trying to do good here and help people for Jesus. So, hope we can all go out there and do good. Therefore, to Him that knows to do good and does not do it to him in his sin. Amen. God bless you all, and have a good day. I'm praying for you all. Thank you, Brother Boyd, for obeying the Lord. Thank you for your prayers for us here at the Gospel Music Jukebox, as well as my family. Amen. Uh, I, I love you, man. Wow. Uh, powerful word, powerful part of his testimony, and what what they're doing today out there in Idaho, what we're doing right here in Crossville, Tennessee, um, we don't get the opportunity. Uh, we've not got that big yet. We've tried to reach out a little bit, uh, and we kind of messed up in the beginning. I think we put uh, some burden on on uh, uh, Boyd and, and, and his ministry. We sent some things uh, trying to reach out to Africa, and then somehow the money came back, and then it didn't get mailed back out. I think he had to pay to actually get that over there. We got it to him, but something got messed up, and I apologize for that. But we want to get involved with that. We're going to get involved with that. Not only do we want to, we're going to. Um, I'm praying for laborers here to help the ministry grow because at this point, uh, I really am getting overwhelmed. Uh, you know, I take care of the mailing department, uh, trying to mail out the prayer crosses uh, and the prayer cloth. Um uh, I take care of the radio program, um, you know, and, and I, my wife helps a little bit uh, when she can with uh, Project Reach Out. She goes and gets things that's uh, been donated. We we got a little building that we go through it in. We don't store stuff there. Uh, it's just used to unload and go through it because we wash it and clean it. And, uh, you know, uh, some stuff that's give to give away, it's it's not worth I mean, it needs to be thrown in the garbage. That's sad, but it's true. But we go through it, and we get the the best, and uh, then we pass it on to the people with needs. We don't keep it in the building. I don't believe in that, don't want to do that. Uh, You know, uh, I mean, there's no sense in keeping it. There's just too many people with too many needs. Um, So, you know, tonight, my part of my testimony is God's been good to me. He's blessed me with an awesome ministry. And, uh, you know, I wanted to spend these last moments letting you know uh, that, uh, you know, God is definitely the head of the gospel music jukebox. And I'm just a willing vessel that's been called by God, an evangelist, to go forth and use everything I can to evangelize the Word of God. I use the Internet. I use the phones. I use cell phones. Uh, I want to thank God for the prayer phone. It came in today. Uh, Apostle Clovis Robinson, the Lord moved on him uh, months back, long time ago. He gave us our first prayer phone, and it tore up, and uh, we had to send it back and and. Uh, some miscommunication and then got that straightened out so we just got the new one and uh the number is uh one nine three one two one zero four six two three and that is a, a cell phone that's been donated to the ministry the gospel music jukebox to be used for live prayer uh, when you are in a situation or a place. So write the number down. Write the number down. Uh, you know, and we're not on the radio. You know, if we're on the air live, you can call the Gospel Music Jukebox live call-in number and, uh, you know, request prayer, and we'll pray for you. But if we're off the air, you can call the archived and leave it, or you can call the cell phone prayer line and... Uh, me or one of the volunteers here at the ministry, when I can 
when they can help me, different ministers, which is rare. Um, they, <laughs> but I'll answer it. And uh, if they're helping, they'll answer it. And somebody will pray with you live and uh, just be there for you. You you know, you never know what you're going to find yourself in, the situation of life. Uh, if you just need to talk and vent, call the, the live prayer line. Call. Uh, I'm going to post it up for you, Brother Philip. Amen. Right here in the chat room. So you guys be patient with me. Uh, it's... Uh, one uh nine three one uh oh wait a minute I messed up it is one nine three one I messed up tapping and put a zero all right hold on okay I'm gonna get it be patient with me it's a one nine three one two ten And you can get a hold of me anytime on this number, four two six, no four six two. Boy, I'm four six two three. Okay, and uh, this is the live cell phone. Um, be patient. I'm getting there. I'm a one-finger typer. I ain't got the queen of multitasking down here with me. <laughs> Amen. Uh, so you got to be patient with me. I'm going to go ahead and play a song and post the number so I can type. Amen. I can't type and talk at the same time. can't rub my belly and pat my head. You ever try to roll one thumb forward and one thumb backwards? Well, I can't do it. <laughs> anyway, give this a listen because... Who is this man? And uh, I'll get this new prayer line number posted. Who is this man born of a virgin in a manger in Bethlehem? Who is this man who dwelt among sinners, heal the blind, the deaf, the dumb, and the lame man. Who fed five thousand with the lunch of a child, who was tempted yet never sinned. And who is this man, who spoke with authority, yet rejected by even his friends? Who was this man? Who was accused when no wrong had he done? Who was beaten, spat upon, and mocked, proclaiming that he was God's Son? And who was this man who carried a cross of a hill called the Place of the Skull? And who laid down his life to save the world from sin? Who bled and died for all? Who was this man who was placed in a tomb With a stone sealed in front of the door? And who was this man who rose from the dead? He's alive forevermore! Savior of the world. 
Whew, praise the Lord. His name is Jesus. Amen. Of course, the prayer line uh, cell phone. Uh, it is a cell phone, and uh, it, it's on me at all times or uh, when the Lord provides a, a, a volunteer, they can carry it uh, when I'm asleep. Uh, but till then, I, I'm going to pray it wakes me up every time it rings uh, because I want, I want it answered. I don't care if it's 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. It don't matter. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. I want to be able to be there if you need prayer for any situation. Uh, we want you to know that we love you. The Lord loves you most. Amen. It's time that uh, we let the enemy know that we care for one another. You see, you're not in this fight alone. Amen. He that lives in you, if you've been born again, is greater than he that's in the world. But you've got a family. And uh, we need to learn to uh, call upon one another. Amen. We need to learn to say, hey, I need some help. Hey, I need this. Hey, like Pastor Eddie Garrett did tonight. Amen. Uh, hey, Sister Rachel just got in from work. Love y'all. Hey, we love you. Praise God. We're down to about three minutes. But uh, I don't know if you'll be able to to hang in and hang on. Uh, I've been challenged to do a program on, on the, I was going to do it tomorrow night, but they hit me on the email wanting me to do it tonight uh, about why I don't uh, agree with woman pastors. So in about 30 minutes, I'm going to be doing another program. Those of you that's setting up late tonight and want to join in, I'd love to have you. <laughs> especially some faithful prayer partners amen i would love to have you um amen hey uh sister rachel tell gracie i'm sorry i missed her uh testimony line call about easter but i played it tonight i played it today also on a short program i did uh testimony time uh but um i played it again tonight uh, t just let her know that, that blessed my socks right off my feet Man, I, I encourage that young and in Jesus' name, call in as much as the Lord would put upon her. Uh, she touched some hearts tonight through the anointing of Christ. Amen. She's my little angel. I've got angels all over. Praise God. Um, but, uh, amen. Uh, yes, give give everybody the new cell phone number. I posted it there in the chat room. Uh, it uh, Please, if you need prayer to get a hold directly of me, uh, when we're off of the air, that's that's the number. That's it uh, right there. That's what it's dedicated for. Been prayed over, anointed with oil, and it is a, a prayer line to be used for the gospel music jukebox. Amen. And I want to thank Apostle uh, Clovis Robinson for obeying the Lord and doing that and taking care of that, that uh, bill. He takes care of everything. Uh, that's his way of sowing into the Project Reach Out and the Gospel Music uh, Jukebox. And we just love him and his family. We love all of you guys. And uh, we did receive a, a package from uh, from uh, Sister Rachel. Amen. Love you. Thank you for your support, uh, your prayers, and your support. Be sure to give Pastor Jordan a pinch for me. I mean a hug. Let him know we love him. <laughs> Amen. So if you can, jump back in. It's going to take me about 30 minutes to get everything re miked and reset up for the program. So, um, you know, just uh, jump back in with us, and uh, we're going to be discussing, uh, well, authorities, uh, pastorship, I guess. I don't know what it's going to be named yet. i got to pray. But it's going to be a discussion about why I don't agree with uh, women pastors. But I love them, and, uh, you know, I'm praying for them. And uh, they they can call in anytime, participate in the program. I've got no problem with that. Uh, anybody, any denomination is welcome to call. Amen. Just because I disagree with you, I still I'm not going to cut you off the air. Uh, I'm not going to do that. This is.